the experiment was the first time it was pressing the lever, it got trained to press the lever and got food. Then they started flashing a light before the lever was activated, which then turned into food. So now it's two cues, light, lever, and now the food. And that starts training the rat, that understanding that doesn't pressing the lever when the light wasn't uh, flashing didn't actually lead to food and a pleasure. And this is what we started calling their pleasure maps in our brain. So the interesting thing which we have to start understanding and what we're learning a lot more is for a long time we believed our memory was to remember the past. It's actually to predict the future. I love this quote by Peter Thiel, you know, we wanted flying cars and all we got was 140 characters. But the idea behind predicting the future is how the motivational system actually works. Because what is that rat actually doing when he presses that lever, the light, the lever, and then getting the reward? It's mapping out how it gets to these pleasures. So food is pleasurable to them. So it creates, what it creates in your brain is a way of mapping this out. So they did experiments with um, monkeys as well. And this starts talking a little bit about what's actually happening in the brain. So between do dopamine bursts and pauses, you, the brain actually starts guiding you towards what is rewarding. So in this experiment, you know, they train the, the monkey to expect a reward uh, when a certain gr the green light flashes. It gets a squirt of juice. So you start seeing the first time through, you actually see the dopamine burst was when it actually got the reward. But what actually starts happening after it's been trained is the fact that the dopamine bursts happen when the light goes. So your brain is basically saying, I'm anticipating that I'm going to get a reward when I see a green light. So it, is, it gets really interesting when you have this idea of the blue light, which is a 50-50% of getting juice, that at the anticipation of it starts building. So you get the burst of dopamine because it thinks it's going to get a reward, and then the increasing anticipation while it's in that waiting mode is kind of what we game designers have been using this for a long time. It's unpredictable rewards, variable schedule rewards, right? But this is what's happening in the brain. To, to me, this allowed me to start thinking a little differently about motivation. What is your brain actually doing when it's, when it's getting motivated, when it's wanting? It's actually starting to map out this unique world which we land in and finding out where all these pleasures are.